Hi, my name is Philip. Um, today we're going to install an acoustic ceiling under this concrete slab. We are here in a bedroom of an apartment made of solid brick walls and solid concrete slab. So the problem is this, any noise that um, we make above this, like a footstep, chairs moving, because we've got a um, uh, timber floor just on top of this uh, ceiling, and every every noise gets transferred very easily through the concrete slab and through the walls as well. So we're going to do um, install an acoustic ceiling, and the first thing we're going to use is a product like this called resilient mount. And we're going to install the resilient mount fixed up into the concrete, clip some furring channels, and then install different materials, and we're going to show you that and how it's done. Um, there will still be noise going through the walls. We can't stop everything. That's a problem when we got structural noise. Every building built this way um, transfer noise through the walls as well. So you can only reduce the noise, but that's all we can do. Unless we build a, a room inside the room, that's the only way to really stop it completely. Um, so we're going to show you in a minute how we, the whole process is done. So now we're going to install the resilient mount. We did the drill, pre-drill. This one is well tight. The reason why we use resilient mount is to reduce transmission of vibration to the new, new ceiling structure. The firming channels are clipped, and now it's time to install the bats, a very high density bats. I use polyester because it's not itchy. Um, and why do you put bats here? Because once we install the plaster bolt, we are, going, um, we are going to create a cavity. And once you create a cavity, you create reverberation, nose reverberation. So you've got an echo, and the nose really increase because it's bouncing between two hard surfaces. And the bats will prevent doing that. So this is a very important part of the process to install high density bats between. Uh, inside the cavity you are just creating. Right, we have finished the first layer now. So um, what we have to do is to make sure we, we seal properly the gap between the plasterboard and the wall. Now we have installed already one layer of plasterboard and what we use is 16mm plasterboard. We use 16mm because it's quite heavy and to reduce the sound the best possible is to have to increase the mass of the ceiling so we use quite thick plasterboard. So in this case we use 16 mil, we already put one layer, now we're going to put a second layer. So we've got now two times 60 mil plasterboard. But between the two layers we're going to install a product called um, viscoelastic membrane. It's quite thin, thin, very thin, very flexible. And um, what this membrane does, when it's between two boards, it prevents the boards of abrading. So it reduces like that much further the transmission of vibration. It's probably the most cost-effective way to reduce noise transfer to ceilings and to partition walls, uh, any boards basically. So this is a very cost-effective way to do it and it's very necessary. Now we lift the second panel with the viscoelastic membrane on it. So we use the panel lift, it's much easier, much quicker. Et voilà, the ceiling is finished now, with cornices, sanded, ready to be painted. Now, this is not the cheapest way to do it, but it's certainly the most efficient and the most cost-effective way to do it. So feel free to give me a call anytime, or send me an email. Um, I'm always very happy to help.